I've been skipping foundation to go anywhere just because it always ends up rubbing off on my mask, but today I'm gonna be trying out the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation, which claims to be humidity, sweat, and transfer proof, so I think if any foundation is gonna survive my mask, it's gonna be this one. The $10 price tag also doesn't hurt. Aside from all of those amazing things, this foundation is also supposed to last 24 hours, which means that I'm not only gonna be wearing a mask, working out, and showering while wearing this foundation, I'm also going to be sleeping in it. Because I feel like every time I see a foundation that says 24 hour wear on it, it's fully a lie, and they think that nobody's gonna test it, but I am. I'm ready to apply. I just primed my face with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer just because I never wear foundation without my primer. Primer. I got the shade Soft Honey. Let's hope this color match isn't totally terrible just because my skin never sees the sun anymore. I'm also just gonna use my blending sponge to apply it. I think just because it says it is so full coverage, I'm gonna start off with one pump on the back of my hand and see how that looks, and then we can add more if necessary. This is what that first layer looks like, and it is pretty full coverage, but I think I'm just gonna add one more layer to cover up a few certain spots, like these dark spots right here and certain other areas. It is supposed to be like primer, foundation, and concealer in one, but it's not doing much for the under eyes. Maybe with the second layer, it'll look a little better, but if it doesn't, I'm just gonna add my normal concealer. Those two layers look really, really nice. I feel like everything that needs to be covered is covered. I'm gonna add a teensy little bit of concealer just because this area right here still looks pretty dark to me. I just wanna brighten it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup and see how all of my products layer on top of this foundation. All of my makeup products actually layered really nicely over the foundation. I feel like it all looks blended and not gross or cakey. It's not patchy anywhere, so I think I'm pretty pleased with this foundation right now. First, let's test this foundation out while wearing a mask since I have to wear one at the gym anyway. I'm dying trying to see if anything transfers. I don't see anything. There's like, okay, that's not true. I see something. It is like the slightest, slightest brown tinge. I think you can kind of see like right here. So far so good. Let's head to the gym and see if this foundation is actually sweat proof. I feel like this test is gonna be like twice as hard because not only am I gonna be working out, I'm gonna be working out in my mask. I just got back from the gym. I'm literally so out of breath right now. I have to take this mask off so Let's see if we have any transfer. I'm nervous. I was sweating up a storm. I mean, there's definitely some transfer, but it's not terrible nor as bad as I thought it would be considering that I was sweating, breathing a lot in this mask. You can definitely see like those little tinges of brown a little bit more obviously than before. No sweat marks. I was expecting there to be some drippy like foundation gross marks, but there isn't. It does feel a little sticky though. Like my skin is definitely more moist feeling. Not as matte as it felt before. I'm gonna take a shower now. I feel disgusting. Um, it's gonna kill me to get into the shower and not wash all of this off my face, but we're gonna power through. So I just got out of the shower. My hair is so frizzy because of all the steam. My skin right now looks a lot oilier than before I got into the shower. We're also going on nine hours of wear right now, I think. So at this time of day, my skin will be getting more and more oily. That's just how it works when I'm wearing makeup. I don't think it looks that bad. I do notice like right here, there are some little spots where it looks like the foundation might have rubbed away or just come off from like me sweating. My upper lip gets sweaty when I'm working out. When I'm in a hot shower, it happens. I took an old t-shirt and put it on top of my pillow just in case I didn't want to get any foundation on my pillow. So I guess I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and we'll see if this stuff actually does hold up for 24 hours. I cannot tell you how excited I am to finally get to wash this foundation off of my face. I can literally hear my pores screaming for help right now, but 24 hours are up and this is what we're working with. Do I think this foundation lasts 24 hours? No. I don't think any foundation can just because 
We're human beings and we move in our sleep, we get sweaty in our sleep, we drool in our sleep. I don't see any foundation surviving something like that. I do think it is transfer proof to an extent because when I was just sitting here wearing my mask, very little transfer happened. But the second I started sweating and I got into that steamy shower, things started to change. It got a little bit oily and then it started to become easier to rub it away. Overall, I just don't think it's the perfect foolproof foundation that I wanted it to be.